Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I haven't made a video for a long time just because I had a, some kids. I had a couple kids, um, and I just wanted to make sure they were kind of old enough to stay away from the snakes and everything. And <clears throat> they're getting there and they know to stay away from them now, so I'm getting more into uh, reptiles again. But just ball pythons for now. As you can see, I have two right here, a male and a female. And then I have another one. Um, they're just in here because they actually um, got their tubs clean today. Th these are in a rack system. These were, well, the female, she's a spider clown. Let me get her out right now. <coughs> oh, she's, they're all tangled up. Um, but the female is a spider clown, as you can see right there. And um, she was part of the ones that I'm going to get like that was part of the plan this male lesser was just kind of a um, uh, last minute decision I had to go pick her up from my the nearest FedEx hub that was closest to me <coughs> and um I just happened to look on the classifieds the night before and I seen him for sale and um yeah so I figured I'd pick him up for a female that I already am getting also so yeah anyways I just got their tubs cleaned so that's why they're in here um but let me see if I can get them off each other so I can it looks like the female is going in a shed um but yeah I've had these for about a week and a half to two weeks these two anyways so that yeah, they're both doing good they both eating for me already as you can see the male is a lot smaller than the female and the male I think catch like five days before the female but whatever anyways there there's the male lesser super basic morph but for the female that I got him with I'm pretty excited or for them pretty excited you know but still breeding is a long ways away <clears throat> because most of the ball pythons besides the third one that I'm going to be showing you are all from 2020 and I'll have two males out of the whole group but yeah I can tell <coughs> he's a small dude but um I think they're hatched like in June something like that this one was local here from Utah and this one was from I think Florida I think from a breeder in Florida but she's nice my first ball python with anything with a clown <coughs> and yeah I'm super excited about her but yeah it looks like she's going in a shed I don't know it just looks like it to me in person but that's her after this video I'm gonna put them back in their little tubs <coughs> um, my third snake that I have I'm gonna help and put the camera down really quick This one was a super last minute decision also. I didn't plan on getting any adults. But um <clears throat> there was somebody that was this is an adult female. I don't know exactly how old, but she's a spinner blast. Um, I don't know exactly how old she is. I was told from the person that I got her from that last year she was with a different breeder. So in the last year she's gone from the, the breeder to the girl that I got her from to me. But last year she laid six good eggs, so she's breeding age and, and all, but, <clears throat> excuse me, but, um, I got her for an amazing deal. I only paid $110 for her, but I didn't know she had mites. She has mites right now. That's why she's in on, you know, just nothing in here. Um, but... I got her last I've had her for like five days and um she's been doing good I've been given soaking her in water for three hours a day with soap um I didn't know she had mites so I didn't have any mite spray like preventamite or anything but I order, ordered some stuff that's called red palace spray and that preventamite stuff um but like I said I got her Friday didn't notice that until after I picked her up and 
by the time I picked her up. It was already too late in the day to have it shipped out that day. <clears throat> and then the weekend came around and then Columbus Day, so yeah. So I don't really want to mess with her too much because I don't want to, you know, risk getting mites on me. But yeah, let's see. That's a size comparison. That's my hand. But she's huge. Um, like I said, I got an awesome deal on her. I guess the the girl that I got her from, just something came up, so she needed to get rid of her super fast. So I offered her $110, and she took it. <clears throat> she does have the spider wobble, and I don't know if you did notice it on the uh, uh, theme, uh, clown spider, but she does also, but that's, you know, a given, really, I think, anymore. But yeah, if she didn't have mites, I would definitely have been looking for a breedable male with her to look uh, pair with her. Gosh, I cannot talk. But since she does, I'm gonna hold off. And plus, <clears throat> like I said, I wasn't planning on getting any adults, so I picked up. She came with a 28 quart tub, but I picked this other one up because, like I said, she was infested with mites. So I cleaned that other one out, and it's just outside. <clears throat> <clears throat> not being used. I bleached it all and everything, so yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. But uh, yeah, kind of glad I don't even have a rack system for her because I would have just thrown her in there and then would have gotten infested. But anyways, that's her. She's doing good for me anyways. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep her in here for at least, jeez, for sure until I get the, the reptile spray and the pre-venomite and the, and the mel um, so I can actually clean her up. Because right now I'm just soaking her in water, like, halfway up her body and then adding the soap. i seen that on a YouTube video from, gosh, I don't remember who. But, yeah. <clears throat> I wish I could pick her up and show you guys, but I just don't want to pick her up and then have to wash my hands and, you know, go through all that and put those other snakes back. I'd rather just put those snakes back and then mess with her <clears throat> but I really don't even want to stress her out too much because those mites are gonna are already stressing her out enough but awesome deal for this female and mites are relatively easy to clean up anyways and so I'm not really too worried about it but yeah that's her I'll be making more videos um, I'm getting more ball pythons like I said I'll only have two males out of the bunch and I think six females not positive <clears throat> but some of the genes that I'm going to be getting are pretty cool I think um, somebody did actually offer me to trade for this female a male GHI butter but I'm not going to do it just because I already have other plans so and she's free gene animal you know just she's about to breed, already breed her age and everything it just like I said it sucks that she has mites because I would try to pair her with a male this year but that's just gonna take some time to clean up and I really don't want to risk it so yeah <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna keep her instead of training for that male male GHI butter but anyways like I said I was gonna I'm gonna be making more videos my kids take up most of my time so yeah it's just gonna take time but anyways that's it see ya